Hello everyone, today we are gonna learn about PHP MyAdmin, how to install it and how to use it. So without any further ado, let's just jump into it. PHP MyAdmin is a very useful web-based database management tool to manage MySQL or MariaDB database. It is a free tool that is written in PHP. Different type of databases tasks can be done easily by using this tool. PHP MyAdmin helps novice users to perform all types of basic database operations without having any knowledge of writing query. Some important features of this tool like create, drop, rename or alter databases, tables, columns, primary key, unique keys and indexes. Insert, delete and update records of the tables, manage server by applying various server configuration, execute different type of simple and complex queries, create, drop and modify store procedures, triggers and views, import or export database or table or data from or to different formats. So to do the web development work, you can install XAMPP or LAMP. If you are using XAMPP server for Ubuntu, then you don't need to install phpMyAdmin separately. It will be installed by XAMPP server by default. But if you are using LAMP on Ubuntu, then you have to install phpMyAdmin by downloading the package. This tutorial will help you to install phpMyAdmin on Ubuntu. So before starting the installation process, you must confirm that LAMP is working properly. Run the following commands to check that Apache 2, MySQL and PHP are installed and working. So let's check the Apache server first. Okay, it is active. Let's check the connection of database server MySQL. MySQL server is already installed here. So if no password is set for the root, just run this command sudo mysql and if the root password is set then just use dash u and root okay okay let's just quit from here for now let's check the version of php as well php dash v okay php 7.3.11 is installed now open any web browser and check whether the apache server is running or not by going to the local host okay apache 2 server is running Okay, after checking all this, we can jump to the installation process of phpMyAdmin. Okay, let's just clear up our terminal. Let me add the pp repository first. sudo add apt repository pba colon phpMyAdmin slash pba. Press enter to continue. Okay, now update the package repository, sudo apt update and now install the PHP MyAdmin, sudo apt install PHP MyAdmin, PHP dash my MB string and PHP dash get text. Okay yes okay a prompt is appeared for configuring php my admin choose the web server press space to select apache 2 and press tab to select ok and press enter okay now select yes and press enter to use dbconfig dash common for setting up the database now you have to set mysql password to make connection with the database server by using php my admin tap the password and select ok Okay, an error occurred. Maybe my password doesn't satisfy the current policy requirement. We'll see that later. We just ignored it for now. Okay. Okay, now run the command sudo php and mode mb string. To enable php extension mb string and for using php my admin apache configuration file. Now restart the Apache server to get effect of the installation. sudo systemctl restart Apache 2. Okay. Now let's move to the next step authentication and privileges. Our default username and password are set at time of installation PHP MyAdmin for doing database tasks. The default username is PHP MyAdmin and the password is the one that we have set during the installation. 
but it is better to use php admin by making a connection as root user to perform all type of database operations if no password is set for root user when mysql or mydb server is installed then it is necessary to set a password for database server later root user can use auth socket or mysql native password plugin to make connection with the server if auth socket plugin is loaded for root user then change the authentication method of root user from auth socket to mysql native password for security purpose you can also create new user account to access php my admin okay now connect with the database server and check the current authentication method of root user Okay, let me just expand the terminal to see the output clearly. Okay, now set the password for root user if not set before. Okay, now change the authentication method of root user by using the alter command if the current user authentication method of root user is auth socket. Okay, probably I made a syntax error. Yes, right here. I forgot to put I inverted comma here at the end of the root. Let me write it again. Okay, it is done. Now run the flush privileges command to reload the authentication and show the effect of the modification. Okay, now again run the select user authentication string plugin host from mysql.user query to check the current authentication method of root user. Okay, the current authentication method for root user is changed to MySQL native password. Great. Let's just quit. Okay, if you want to set permission for other users to access PHP MyAdmin without root user, then do the following tasks. First of all, connect with the MySQL server as a root user and create a new user. The password is set for root user in the previous step, so you have to use dash p option to connect with the server. Okay, now execute the create user query to create a new user. Okay. Next, you have to set the required permission for the new user to access the database server. Run the command to set all permission for the new user. Okay, now exit from MySQL prompt. Now open up any browser and type the URL localhost slash phpMyAdmin to check either the MySQL phpMyAdmin is working properly or not. Okay, now open up any browser and go to the localhost slash phpMyAdmin to check either the phpMyAdmin is working properly or not. Okay, so localhost slash phpMyAdmin. 
okay sorry okay that's great it is working perfectly fine now log into the server by providing root or newly created user credential okay that's great now let's see how can we use php admin Okay, there are two panels in PHP Admin page. Left panel shows the list of all existing databases, tables, procedures, and views. You have to click on the plus button to show the tables, procedures, and views. Right panel contains different database server information and tab option to perform particular database tasks. File subpanel of cPanel page are channel setting, appearance setting, database server, web server, and PHP My Admin. The uses of these panels are explained shortly here. General setting. You can use this panel to show the list of MySQL character set and change MySQL connection collection. Appearance setting. You can change the language, theme, font size and other appearance related things from this panel. Database server. This panel shows different information about database server such as server name, type, version, connected username, character set, etc. Okay. Web server. This panel shows information of web server database client and PHP. PHP admin. This shows PHP admin version and other related information. Tab option. This one. The top of the right panel contains menu tab. The user need to use the tab option to perform various type important database operations such as create or drop database or table, execute SQL, export or import database, create or drop trigger, etc. Now, PHP My Admin is an essential tool for any web developer to make database tasks easier. So if you want to use web interface for the database management on LAN server, then I hope you have followed this tutorial very properly and enjoyed a lot. Thank you very much.